can see us both a lot of time if you'll just adore me now. <laughs> Thank you. I am Alan. I am from Germany. And there's nothing funny about that. My friends say, me, say to me, Alan, Germans have no sense of humor. They're right, we don't. What we have is a sense of jolly. We get together once a year in October for one big laugh. Ha! That's it. One. That's it. One. Every generation puts together a big party. You may have read about it in the papers. Weimar party, Nazi party, Green party. We invite all Europe to join our party. It's not our fault. They're not entertained. They don't have any discipline. They don't even iron the sparks or underwear. Can you believe it? <laughs> Can you make me palms? <laughs> I do. I remember that first flight on Lufthansa to the United States. I was 12. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to my 666 This is your pilot, Herr Captain P. von Stuck. You will enjoy our flight. You will enjoy our food. You will enjoy our laughter. Ha! Be happy. It's October. For now, sit back. Relax. We take you over. I guess my mom was most like any other moms. Any of you have moms out here? Yeah. You you? Yeah. yeah, I used to come home from school, and uh, she'd be waiting for me. Let me see your papers. <laughs> don't you see your papers? <laughs> yeah. Why don't you children wing on eggs like the king and trust the king? <laughs> But mommy, the Clinkers want the children get to leave their room. You are not the Clinkers want the kingdom. Go to your room. <laughs> Moms are all the same, huh? I was so excited. I remember reading the paper after 29 long years when the wall finally came down in my parents' living room. <laughs> it was the first time in years that we'd ever been able to see eye to eye. <laughs> I'm going to do a palm reading trick here. Uh, any of you have an education? One? You know what really pisses me off about education? I got one. So what? Here I am, right? What good is it that me? Yeah, uh, <laughs> there really were a few things about education. You know, I hated it. I hated school. And then I became a teacher. I guess I really had to take a closer look at that. Oh, she's enjoying this, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, I did it for the money. Okay, I did. All right, it was the prestige. Okay, it sucked, okay? At least I got the boss people around. Yes! Little people. <laughs> there were those few things about teaching that really were gratifying. June, July, and August. Do you ever notice how gifts from children really come out of Goodwill? I mean, Goodwill, the store. Two gifts that I really cherish to this day after the years that they were given to me. That beautiful doll with the multicolored crochet dress that covers my spare toilet paper roll. As I speak, she's guarding my tank right now. And a 42-ounce bottle of aqua velva. Yeah. You like it? <laughs> Sexy, isn't it? Boy, that education really came out in here, didn't it? 
Yeah, teaching really was a great hobby. <laughs> if only those damn kids wouldn't have gotten in the way of my paperwork. I've been affected by the recession. Anyone here been affected by the recession? Yeah. 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 I've always got my eyes open for new opportunities. Right now I'm considering an investment in funeral parlors. Seriously, think about it. When was the last time you drove by a mortuary and you saw a sign hanging out there? Going out of business. Everything, half <laughs> off. Or how about this one? Two for one, free money. <laughs> and this one, this one is just great. Free makeup with embalming. <laughs> I can't go wrong. Thank you for adoring me, ladies and gentlemen.